Is it dangerous or misleading to use models or estimates in accounting? The short answer to that question would, would be, yes, it can be, um, if applied incorrectly. Um, but here's my thoughts on that, because I've seen this, this issue debated very hotly, quite honestly, in the, in the mainstream media. And I think it's, it's really misunderstood because um, bonds do trade in typically a uh, readily available market. And so they actually have a, an exit value. Um, the problem with that in today's market is that the exit value doesn't necessarily reflect, when I say exit value, by the way, I mean uh, what you could get a potential buyer to pay for that particular security. But the problem is that in today's market, it doesn't really accurately reflect the true economic value because there's no buyers out there. So then the other side of that debate would be, well, let's use economic value as determined by some model. But nobody wants to do that because they're afraid that the, the organization reporting the value of a particular security using a model is going to fudge the numbers. And I dare say that risk exists in every other industry as well. The argument on behalf of using a model would be that there's a system set up that's already in place to police that. And it's not perfect, but it exists via auditors, regulators, et cetera, to determine whether or not a, a particular institution is using legitimate assumptions in determining economic value and using legitimate calculations in determining economic value. It's, it's set up. And I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll take it one step further. If you look at, you know, say GE's balance sheet, look at another industry. You know, they have their property, plant, and equipment recorded at a particular price, and there's no way that reflects the actual liquidation or market value of that asset. But the, it works, and the system works, and we rely on that information that the balance sheet is, is presenting to us. So why not use that in the financial industry when the actual liquidation or market value isn't truly reflecting the economic value of a particular asset because of the environment that we're in.